Hello. Today I'll be talking about the open drain NAND gate. And this is and this is a logic gate that functions similar to the to a regular NAND gate. However, the internal circuitry is different, and I'll show you how. So normally, for a regular NAND gate, you would have two P channel and two N channel MOSFETs. So here's what a NAND gate looks like. However, an open drain NAND gate is practically like this, where there is no P channel transistors, only the N channel transistors, meaning that this gate, the open drain NAND gate, does not have any connection to power. Also, an open drain NAND gate is denoted by its regular symbol. And people made this symbol for it that looks like this, and I'll enlarge it. And then people put this up, so up of the uh, little dot or inside of the uh, body. But for the sake of ease, some people, including myself, use this notation just just open drain, initialize it, so that's what I'll be doing instead of this weird little symbol, which by the way is common in circuits as opposed to using the letters. So let's get into the theory. So given the previous page, let's construct our MOSFET diagram. So this is really what it looks like. And now it's performing a logic analysis. So essentially, the output will always be one unless A and B are both 1. And upon quick analysis, we can test this by seeing that since this is daisy-chained, the only way this will be connected to the ground is if these would be turned on or when A and B are both 1. So that is definitely logical. But the thing is, we don't have any power to supply these 1s. So in order to do that, we have to supply the power from the outside outside the gate so pretend this is our gate <coughs> and so we have our 5 volt node here followed by a resistor to prevent any um, shortages to have like a resistance. And now this will be our new out. So let's take a look at this. 
you may you may not understand how this works initially, but upon further analysis, it's actually fairly simple. Where um, simply these transistors, when they're off, they simply block ground so that the five volts can just go to the output. And once again, this is outside of the gate. This is important to know. And in the only case being when it's open to ground, it would simply short this out to um, ground. And that is it for the theory of...